in Roblox. Oh, cool! System update is about to start. I wonder what it is this time. System update in 3 to 1. Cool, that seems interesting. Let me see what I've got. Soulmate color selected. Here we go. Error. You can see other soulmate color. Ha! Huh. What does it mean? Why is it not any color? Did I not get a soulmate? Oh, my mom is calling. I better go. I will ask my GC later. In the group chat. Oh my goodness. Have you all heard any updates yet? About the color, right? You mean soulmate. Yes, exactly. What color do you guy get? Erm, um, can we talk about it later? Huh? Why? I can't wait for it. Wait for Arya, okay? Ugh. She's always late. Why should we care about her? Come on, don't say that, Ely. We just showed up less than 10 minutes ago. It's okay to wait a little longer. Hi guys, I'm here. Oh finally, here you are. Hi, Arya. We are about to reveal our color. Yeah, we just only wait for you. Do you know that? Oh sorry, I'm a little busy. But after seeing you guys keep texting, I joined. Oh wow, I can actually see their color. But can they see this like me? Well, I'm very curious about my soulmate's color. I hope she is the girl I knew. Cause acquaintances are easier than strangers. Yeah, I have the same thought. Wait, you guys can't see them. Yeah, all of us. Me too, but what does that mean? Oh shit, so that's mean I'm the only one can see their color. This will be very interesting. Um, nothing. If that then, what about Ely? Oh, come on, can you stop talking nonsense? And please, get to the main topic. I've waited long enough. Okay, sorry, my bad. So who's wanna go first? Let's me, I'll go first. I got purple heart. Oh my gosh, really? Are you honest? Cause mine is purple too. Ha! Huh? We are already soulmates. Oh my gosh, really? I'm so happy to hear that. But she has a green heart. Is she lying or is it wrong? Me next. I got a yellow one. I guess I am the only one in the group with it. Damn, that is definitely Ely is lying. Now, your turn, Arya. What do you got? Um, guys, I don't know how. But something weird happened. What's wrong, Arya? Well, I didn't get a soulmate color yet. Haha. <laughs> Of course you didn't. Who the hell want to be with you? Ha ha ha. Don't be rude, Ely. I didn't get one either. What? Really? Yeah, but it gave me a weird thing. Ha, huh, that's kinda funny. What is this, Stark? Well, I can see the username of everyone's soulmates. Wait, you can? Yeah, but I didn't know who is my soulmate is. So you mean you too can see mine too? Bad for you, yeah? And that certainly is not Dan. Huh? What? Damn, if Stark said so, then I was right. I can actually see everyone's color. Stop lying. You cannot. Just admit you didn't get a soulmate like Stark. But it's true. Believe it or not, it's up to you. No, it isn't. Cause you can't even prove it. Ely isn't your soulmate, Dan. She got a green heart, not purple. What? I don't get it. The first is Stark, now you say the same. She's lying, don't trust her Dan. They are bullying me, do something, Dan. Stop lying, Arya. I can see that you are trying to divide us. And too bad for you, that plan won't work. I really love, Eli. What the? Aw, so sweet, honey. Thank you so much. Everything for you, my baby boo. Well, I don't believe it either. Why would they let someone see the other colors? One is that you are lying, and the other is that the system is falling. But the system still works normally. Beside you don't have any proof. So I didn't believe you. What? I swear I'm not lying. Just shut up, Arya. You can see, no one believes you. 
Just leave. People who want to divide us should not be here anymore. What the? But I didn't do anything wrong. I just said the truth. And I don't understand why you have to lie. Aren't you curious about your real soulmate? What about him? Hey, don't try to fool me. That's enough, Arya. Eli loved me and she will stay with me. We are truly soulmate, not anyone else. Did you hear that, witch? We belong to each other. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I can't stand it anymore. As you wish, I'll leave. Hold on, Arya. Can I talk to you in private for a minute? Okay. Yeah, just keep talking. And how about you don't come back anymore? Come on, Ely, be nice. Let's go, Arya. Why did she have to say that? Like I said, she wants to divide us. Dang, I hope not. Cause I think she's not that kind of person. Yes, she is. She is definitely a two-faced person. Or she is jealous of our love. Exactly. She is a liar. In private chat. Let's talk about your problem, Arya. What do you mean? You don't trust me either? Of course, I trust you. When I said I can see the usernames for the soulmates, I wasn't actually lying. I can see it, and I know you're telling the truth. Ely's soulmate is someone called Jack Rizzler 06 or something else. But it certainly wasn't Dan. Oh my gosh, I know I'm not wrong. So now how can we prove it? They won't believe anything I say. Hmm, what if we get Ely's soulmate to join the GC? Not the best idea. How can we find him? Yeah, true, I can see that. Oh, hold on, I got another idea. You can dress up as a super rich guy. And say your color is a green heart. And when Ely says her color is green in front of Dan, you can change back to your normal outfit. Damn, that's a good plan. I'll do it. Cool. Let's change your outfits first. Wait me a minute. I'm back. What do you think? Is this look rich enough for Ely? Damn, it looks so fire. More than I expected. Cool, let's back to the GC. Wait, wait, you need to voice change her. Oh yeah, I forgot, sorry. How about now? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, everything's settled, let's go. Hold on, we need to find a good reason for her not to suspect us. Hmm, what if I told her that you were jealous of her and left? Do you think that gonna work? Trust me, she's not that smart. Ha ha. Right. Just follow the plan. Okay. Back to the group chat. It's been 15 minutes. What took they so long? Nah, I have no idea. Well, I guess they try to. Hi guys, I'm back. Oh finally, here you are. But wait, where is Arya? Erm, um, she. Ha, huh, I guess this liar felt too embarrassed that she lied to us. So she left already. Yeah, you were right, Ely. Cause the more she talk, the more she show that she is jealous of your love. So I felt like she was being unreasonable. I can't stand with her anymore, then I kicked her. Oh wow, thank you so much, Stark. You are such a good friend. Eo, shut up Haha, <laughs> ha, you don't need to say that. I just do what a friend would do. Damn, I can't believe she is that kind of person. See, I told you. She is just a two-faced person. Now let's play something Togerther. I'm sure our team would be better off without her. Oh wait, can I add my friend here? You know, we can replace Arya. Cool, I don't mind. Yeah, whatever just not a pick me like Arya, then everything is okay. Don't worry, he is a boy. Nice, another boy. So I'm the only girl in this GC. Alright, so I'll add him. Hey guys. Nice to meet you all. Oh wow. Whose are you, cutie? Well, excuse me. I'm still right here. Chill, Dan. I'm just kidding, haha. -ha. What the? That's not funny at all. I'm your boyfriend, your soulmate, Eli. Alright, alright. It's just a joke, Dan. Come on, guys, don't argue. You guys may make my friend uncomfortable. Sorry, my bad. Just as planned, she easily liked me. You are so dumb, Eli. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. 
Anyway, please introduce yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is David. I'm Stark's best friend. Oh yeah, we are friends for years. Huh? I didn't know you had another best friend, Stark. I don't know that either. Erm, um, sorry guys. I didn't tell you about him sooner. Cause he just returned from studying abroad. So now I have the opportunity to introduce him to you. Ugh, whatever. Anyone but still better than Arya. What? Such a So do you want to do face reveal? I mean it's really cool when we can know more about each other. Cool. I like that. Yeah, I will join too. Oh I can't let they see my face. They will know that I'm Arya. What do you think, David? Yeah, do you want to join us? Erm, sure. I guess. So who wanna go first? Meet me, let's me do it first. Alright, go ahead. So my name is Eli and this is me. Ooh, super ugly witch. You are so pretty. Yeah, that's my girl. We already know it, bro. You don't need to brag about it. Huh, you say that cause you jealous of me, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on guys, just keep doing it. What do you think, David? Ugly. I mean you are super cute. Thanks, you are so nice. Let's me go next. My name's Zay and this is me. Wow, you look so cool. Looking good, bro. To be honest, I think you have a really good style. Thank you all. Not many people pay attention to my style. Are you sure? Cause you look so cool. Haha, -ha, thanks, you are so kind too. No, it's my turn, right? My name is Stark, and this is my picture. Handsome. Bro looking fresh. So cool. So, are you guys done? Cause it's my turn now. Yeah, the stage is yours. Alright, I'm Dan and this is me. Oh gosh, my baby boo. You look so handsome. I'm so happy to have you by my side. My boyfriend is the best. No one can replace you, my honey. Aw, oh, thanks, my love. Brr, I think we don't need to praise him anymore. Because she's already said it all. Yeah, same thought. Hey, don't be mean like that. At least you guys have to praise my baby boo bear a little. Yeah, I was going to do that. But you have made us lose interest. Hey, how dare you? Calm down, my love. It's fine. I don't mind it. All right, it's your turn, David. What should I do now? If I pick a picture from Pinterest, they will know it's fake. Oh yeah, I will ask my big brother for a picture. Erm, guys, actually, I don't take many pictures. So there aren't any available. Can everyone wait a moment while I take a picture? Sure. I forgot she didn't have any boys pictures. Hope everything is okay. Hey, thank for waiting. Let me introduce myself. So my name is David and this is my picture. Wait a minute. He is more handsome than Dan. Oh my gosh. You are so amazing, David. I mean, you look so grow up. Are you really 17? Of course, I meant you are not the first person asked me that. Everyone always said that to me. But I'm used to it and thank you. No, no, I mean you are really handsome. And I really like that. You are my type. I have to be honest. Eli, what the hell? Are you flirting with him? No, I'm not. Come on, bye. Don't misunderstand me. It's just a compliment. And as you can see, he is really not that bad. But I don't like my girl praising another boy. That make me feel so uncomfortable. What do you think if I do the same with another girl? Won't you be mad? Of course, you can't do it. We are different. My gosh, how is that possible? Stop it, you two. Don't you feel that constantly arguing is very rude? Beside that we just had a new member come in. If you two want to fight, then do it alone. Don't do it here. They start to be so annoying because of you two. Okay, fine. Then one more question. Can I ask you in private, David? How? Me? Are you sure? Yes. I really want to talk to you about something. Eli, really? Chill, Dan. Don't be mad at me, honey. I just want to ask him something I'm curious about. And you know that I always love you. Then can you do it in here? Right in front of us? Huh? No. I just want to. Yeah, I can do that in here. What? I'm sorry, Eli. 
Because I don't want to talk alone with a girl who already have boyfriend. What do you mean? You also think like that? I don't want to think about it, but you keep behaving like that. So, yeah, I will do it here. Just ask, and I'll answer you. Okay, fine. So what do you want to ask? Do you have any Robux? Brr, what kind of question is that? But, yes, I have. How much? Like 10 million. What, what the, the hell? hell? Well, that's too much. Yeah, I know but it's not a big deal. Cause I'm rich. 10 million Robux is nothing to me. I can have it easily. I can even share it to you guys. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, I'm honest. Then, can you give me? No, I only give it to the person I trust the most. Like my girlfriend for example. Ugh, okay, I understand. So any other question? Of course, I have one last question. Sure, dig in. What is your color? I mean, who is your soulmate? What the? Why are you care about that, Eli? I'm just asking, can you stop pointing at me? But you are my girlfriend, and you keep asking him those questions. I already said that I don't like that. Then just ignore it. What the hell? Are you serious? How dare you say that to your boyfriend? Chill, Dan. You are overreacting. Anyway, David, you still haven't answered my question. Well, I've got a green heart. What? Are you sure about that? I mean, are you saying the truth? Yeah, why should I lie to you? But I haven't met my soulmate yet. I really want to know who she is. Oh my gosh, David, I've got a green heart too. We are soulmates, David. What? what? Wow, what the hell, Eli? You told me you got purple like me. Ugh, I lied, okay? But why? Because at first, I really like you. But then I meet David and he is better than you. So I change my mind. I don't need you anymore. Actually, I have a green heart like David. So I'm his soulmate. No way. I can't believe you did this to me. Arya was right about you. I should believe her in the first time. You're really evil, Eli. Why are you so annoying? David forgets about him. You and I have the same color. Let's be a couple. I will break up with him. Well, I think I don't need to act anymore. Cause everything is so clear. Huh? What? What do you mean? I mean this. What? what? Arya, you still here the whole time? Yes, I'm. And I guess the plan worked. Hold on, where did my David go? And why are you here Arya? Get out of here and bring my soulmate back. Really? Are you stupid or something? David is me, I changed to trick you. And it worked perfectly. Oh, damn it, you b How dare you do this to me? Cause you keep being rude to me. And you lied to everybody. So I have to expose your true face. Screw you. Dan, bye. I'm sorry. It was all just a joke. I don't have a green heart. Oh come on, just shut up. Now you try to fool me again? Do you think I'm an idiot? Just get out of here, Eli. No, I haven't broken up with you yet. And Arya, you have no proof that I don't have green too. Well, actually, I took a screenshot of my screen. You can see it by yourself. Arya shows her screenshot. See, Ailey has a green heart. No, she edited it. Dan, please, let's me. Dan kicks Ellen out of the GC. I'm tired of her childish. Yeah, so annoying. Damn it, why did this have to happen to me? I trusted her. I thought I actually found my real soulmate but no, it was all just a lie. Bro, no need to be mad. At least, I help you to know about the truth. Shut up, this is all your fault Arya. What the heck, excuse me. Yeah, bro, she just saved you from an evil. If you didn't pretend to be that guy, then she would still like me. Bro, really, how can you still like her after that? No wonder you guys don't have soulmates. Cause nobody likes you. Shut your damn mouth up, Dan. We only try to help you and this is how you say thank to me. Yeah, and even we don't get the color. I still have a true friend, not like you. You just ruined our friendship, Dan. Yeah, anyway the system doesn't give us the color. It didn't mean nobody likes us. We might find our soulmates in real life. Exactly. 
And good luck finding your Roblox girlfriend. If you want to come back with that liar, then do it. I won't stop you anymore. And you can let her lie to you your whole life. Ugh, you guys are horrible. This idiot. Well, now it's just us and Zay. Oh, Zay, I forgot you were still here. Did you see all of that? Yeah, the whole thing. Anyway, it was kind of entertaining. Yeah, it was. Ha 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 ha. All right, forget about those. Let's play something together. Sure. The end. Oh, Mom, Dad, you're home. Yeah, yeah we're here, sweetheart. We're here, sweetheart. Why do you to look so sad? Your mother just had a miscarriage. We won't be able to have a baby, honey. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, your mother really wants to have a daughter. But if not, we're still together. We will give love to each other. Mom, don't be sad anymore. I will always try to make you satisfied. Oh, sweetheart. In the evening. Hey, honey, mom and dad want to ask you something. Yeah, sure. Do you like mom and dad adopting a child? Dad and mom are planning to adopt a girl. And we want to ask for your opinion. Yeah, I think a girl will be cool. I don't have any problem with that. Okay, so tomorrow we will pick her up from the orphanage. Do you want to join us? I have a lot of deadlines. So, maybe tomorrow I will wait at home. Okay, if you're alone at home and is there any problem to do, just text me. Yeah. I got it. I finished the dish. I have to be back to my deadline. Okay. Son, good luck. The next day. Arg, why are there so many deadlines at this time? How can I do it in time? Damn, who's coming again? Maybe my parents are home. Hi, Hi sweetheart. sweetheart. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Oh, this is... She is the one we adopted. She's Kate. Hey, Kate. This is Jordan. Hey, Jordan. This is Kate. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. You are now part of a family. Jordan, take her up to see the room. Yes, Dad. Follow me. Okay. Welcome. This gonna be your new room. Wow, I never thought I would have a private room like this. Yeah, hope you like it. Yeah, of course, I love it. I'm glad to hear that. So, put your luggage here and enjoy yourself. I'll call you when it's dinner time. Oh, thank you, Jordan. Oh my god, this bed is really soft. I have never slept in such a bed. This place is amazing. If I could own this house, it would be great. One day I will have everything in this house. They had a happy life together until five years later. I know I don't have much longer to live. So tomorrow I will write a will to leave my property to you. Hope you will follow the will. There's no need to do it so soon, Dad. We don't need money, just need you to get better. Yeah, Dad. You should rest for now. Nah, I have to do it before it's too late. My time is running out. Kate, can you go home and get some paper and a pen for me? Sure, Dad. Jordan, I want to talk to you privately for a moment. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Hey, Jordan, I want to ask you something. If I divide the assets equally between you and Kate, will you be satisfied? Sure, Dad. Why do you have to ask? Because Kate is adopted. I want to make sure you are satisfied with my decision. You don't need to worry. I am satisfied with all your decisions. Oh, thank you, son. You don't need to think too much. For now, just rest. Meanwhile, with Kate. This is such a beautiful house. If only I could have all of it, it would be great. But soon, my father will write a will and will definitely divide the assets between Jordan and me. I don't want that to happen. All of my father's assets must belong to me. 
But now how can I keep dad from sharing it with Jordan? Hmm. Oh, I got an idea. In the evening. Oh no, why is everything in my room messed up like this? I've lost all my money. Oh no, the two necklaces my mother gave me are no longer available. Who has entered this room before? There are no cameras in this room. But I will check the front door and window cameras to see if anyone has broken into the house. 15 minutes later. No one broke into the house. So, could Jordan or Kate have done this? I need to go talk to those two. Jordan, Kate, meet me in five minutes in the living room. Yes, yes Mom. Mom. We're, We're here, here, Mom. Mom. Sit down. I lost a lot of money. Someone took money from my room. Both necklaces my grandmother gave me were also stolen. I checked the cam and no outsiders broke into the house. So the person who took them away was just one of you two. Tell me honestly, who took them and where are they now? It's not me, I don't know. Yeah, I also didn't take them. Try finding them again, maybe you forgot it somewhere. No, that cannot happen. The room had been ransacked and someone must have come in and taken them away. Just one of the two of you. Just tell me the truth. I am telling the truth, Mom. I never thought about doing that. How about you, Kate? Did you steal from me? No, Mom. I've told you. Okay. It seemed like no one admitted to being a thief. Do you have any ideas to find out who the thief is? Maybe we can check each other's rooms, Mom. As you checked the camera, no one broke in and no one left the house. So the stolen money is still in this house. Yeah, that's a good idea. You guys stay here. I'll go check out your rooms. 15 minutes later. I found them nowhere. But I found a lot of money in your room, Jordan. What? You're serious, Mom? Where was it, Mom? It was in your wardrobe. Really? I never store money in the wardrobe. Tell me the truth, Jordan. This is to clear evidence that you stole all the jewelry from me, then sold it. No, I didn't. So where does this money come from? I don't know. You stole them, right, Jordan? Just admit it. No, I didn't. If you don't admit that you're the one who took them away, don't ever come back to this house again. Yeah, Mom, kick him out. We can live with a thief. What? You did this, right, Kate? Did what, Jordan? All of this? Hey, Jordan, you can't talk to your sister like that. She harmed me. Why do you always protect her? Since we were just kids, you've always taken care of her more than me. Jordan, get out of here and never come back again. Fine. I don't need you. I don't need this family. Where should I go now? Maybe I'll call Paul and stay at his house. He is the only one who lives alone in this city in my group of friends. I will graduate from college and make a lot of money to prove it to my mother. Five years later, Jordan has become a technology company owner. With Kate, after her father passed away, Kate inherited a huge amount of money from her father's will. But with her wasteful spending habits, the amount of money she inherited was not much left. Come in. Jordan, there is a woman claiming to be your mother who wants to meet you. Oh, really? Tell her to go home. I don't want to see her. But she insisted on meeting you. I think you should let her meet and talk for a while. Hmm, okay. Let her in. Hi, son. Hi, Lily. Long time no see. Yeah, the last time we met was five years ago. You also didn't show up at father's funeral. Can you tell me why? Actually, I came, but I stood at a distance. I don't want to have to face you and my adopted sister. Okay, are you good these days? As you can see, I run a small business. I have gained more weight than before, and my life is more comfortable. I guess I'm fine. It's good. What did you come here to see me for today? I, I. If you don't have anything to say, please leave here. 
Actually, I know it will be very difficult for you to accept this. But I really hope you will consider this. Just say it. Can you let Kate work here? No, of course. Why should I do that? She is already graduated. She is very hardworking and will bring you many values. If she works hard enough and has good knowledge, she can get a job elsewhere. Our company has no vacancies left. Please consider her, please. I know it was hard for you to not hate her back. But she really needs your help. If you agree to that, I will forgive you for what you did before. Everything is in the past. We can't change anything. If you agree with that, I will forgive you for what you did before. Please, Jordan, please. Highs. Okay. Tell her to come see me tomorrow. Thank you, Jordan. The next day. So, this is what you have to do. Can I ask about the salary? Your salary is $1,000 per month. Really? With that salary, what can I do? Sorry, I can't pay higher. If it weren't for your mother, you wouldn't have a job here. I'm your sister, Jordan. How can you pay such a salary to your sister? If you don't want it, you can find another job for yourself. We really don't need you. Okay, fine. I take it. Okay, so go back to work. Erg, too much work. But the salary I receive is too low. I will sabotage you at all costs, Jordan. Oh, I see something here. A prototype of a new project. Haha, <laughs> you're stupid for not taking any measures to secure this. I will delete everything. Ha ha ha. What are you doing? Stop. Get out. I'll call Jordan. Jordan, come here. We have a big problem. What's wrong, Paul? Jordan, look at this. What have you done? Why? Haha, ha. I will ruin everything you have, Jordan. Why? Since we met, I have always been nice to you. Why do you do these things to me? Haha, ha. it's just because I hate you, Jordan. You're fired. Get out of here. Okay, fine. Have fun with that mess. What should we do now, bro? Next week we have a meeting with investors. If we start again, we won't make it in time. Yeah, I know, but we have to. I will do it by my own self. Paul, please give me some backup plans if this meeting fails. Okay, I got it. Okay, so be it. Let me take care of this project from now. Yeah, if you need anything, just call me. Sure. After one week. So, as you can see, this prototype is not completely finished yet, but... This is some bullshit. We should have finished, but... Shut up. This is not the time for you to make excuses. My investors have run out of patience. I will not invest in this project. No, please. Just give me another chance. I expected and called for many investors to participate in your project. And look how you repay me. What a shame. I'm done. Let me explain. Walk out that door, down the hall, and get out of my office. I will never work with you again. Oh, Jordan, how's it going? Terrible. We didn't get the deal. Okay, don't worry, I have a second plan. What did you do? Chill, dude. Last night I called some other investors, and my old boss said he wanted to invest. But this prototype has to be fixed as soon as possible. We will have an official meeting with him soon. When's the meeting? In two days. All right, that's not a lot of time, but it's still better than no one investing. Let's get started. In the evening. Hey, Jordan, I'm really disappointed in you. Mom, what are you doing here? How could you fire your own sister? Oh, firing her was the obvious thing I had to do. She ruined one of the biggest deal that we had. You are so selfish, now she can't make any money at all. And I have to be the one to pay for all her expenses. Oh yeah, mom, I ain't care. It was you who turned her into such an idiot. Did you know she sabotaged my project right in front of me for no reason? We lost our biggest deal because of her. So what? You have many other deals. She cost us a lot of money. This time you can't protect her. And frankly, I don't care what you say. She had to go through a miserable time because of what happened to dad. 
Oh, come on! Can you stop using that as an excuse for her? I was also put in a similar situation, but I have grown up. And she's still like that, even worse. Why is she always spoiled by you? Why do you always use every reason to excuse her mistakes? I did everything I could. I just think she will need more help than you. More help? The truth is I get no help from you. So, what now? You can't change the past. I can't change the past. Neither of us can change the past. What do you want me to do? Nothing. It turned out to be a good thing. I had to do everything on my own. I did not receive any support from my mother. I was also kicked out of the house by my mother. I overcame all of that myself, and that's why I have grown up. And Kate also needs to grow up. So don't push the responsibility of taking care of her on me anymore. Okay, I'll talk to Kate later. Whatever. From now on, things related to her are no longer my problem. After two days. As you can see, our products are completely superior to other products on the market. Plus, our design makes it cheaper and more affordable. Yeah, I like the design. Yeah, I intentionally changed some decorative details so that everyone would like it. Instead of the old design that was supposed to only appeal to computer enthusiasts. Yeah, I must say that I am very impressed with your product. You guys have done a great job. So Mr. Robert, do you think you want to invest in this business? Oh, yes absolutely. I will not let other investors take my market share. So, it's a deal? Yes, you got it. Let me write you a check right now. Here you are. Thanks, Mr. Robert. Thank you for counting on us. At Jordan's private home. Oh, Mom, why are you here? I talked to Kate today, Jordan. But she seemed to ignore what I said and was locking herself in her room. What do you expect from a girl like that? I know she's not good, but she's my daughter. Can you come home with me and help me talk to her? No, absolutely. Jordan, please. Mom, don't make me solve any more problems between you and Kate. You created this monster. You have pampered Kate too much for a long time. I won't help you solve that problem. I've moved on already. But we are family. Together we could. No, I'm so tired of this. I don't want anything to do with her. Now please go home. I need to rest. Five years later. After all my efforts, this place belongs to me. Until now I still can't believe I could be so successful. Over the past five years, my business has really grown. I am very excited for the next projects and products. Ha! Huh, I heard you just bought a fancy office building, right? I'll turn it into trash soon. What are you doing here? I just came to see how successful my younger brother has become. Why do you always have luck when you are worse than me? I don't have these things by luck. I worked very hard to get it. Go away while I'm still being nice to you. Nice to me? I'll show you what nice is. Hey, hey, stop it. Hey, what's wrong with you, Kate? You will pay for everything you have done to me. Ha ha ha. Get out of here or I call the police. Damn, shut a stupid girl. This place is amazing, dude. Yeah, I feel like the whole city is here. Yeah, almost everyone came here to celebrate our business. This has truly been a very successful year for us. I know, but we must not stop. I have a big idea I want to discuss with you. All right, talk to me later. Now just have fun. Wait, is that my car? Maybe. Let me check it out. Oh, Kate, that's my car. Get out. I'm so sad, Jordan. I will rob this car for fun. Is this fun to you? Don't you remember what I said? Let me repeat. I said you would regret everything you've done to me. I can't stand you anymore. Get out of my car. No, I will never stop until your life is completely ruined. No. You know what? Fine. This is 911. What's your emergency? Hello, 911. I just had my car stolen by my sister. 
She drive really fast and... Oh no! Erg, this car sucks. Have fun with that trash car, loser. 30 minutes later, at the police station. Yes, my sister did this. Sister. Sheesh. That's really annoying, bro. There's nothing worse than trouble from family. Oh, man, you have no idea. Jordan, you can't do this. What are you talking about? You called the police to arrest your sister. Are you insane? She stole my car and severely damaged it. And she told me she was just doing it for fun. How can I forgive her? She absolutely deserves this. No, let her go. She's just upset, okay? She has suffered a lot since dad passed away. It's been more than 10 years, mom. You've given this reason a thousand times already. She's not a little girl anymore. She needs to grow up. You're a terrible younger brother for doing this. I won't take this back. I ain't care. I'm sorry to interrupt family matters, but I have work to do. Are you sure you want us to punish and detain her? Yes, 100%. Wow, okay, I got it. This will be your biggest mistake. You'll soon regret this, Jordan. No, I won't. This is good for her. Maybe one day, she will thank me for this. No. Kate, what do you want for dinner? Oh, she broke something outside the living room again. Oh, Kate, what are you doing with that? Um, hey, hey, mom, is this your? I thought this was a gift for me. You know that is your grandma's necklace. You're not allowed to touch it. Oh, you should tell me soon. I have no idea. Has it always been you who stole from me? Because you can't give me what I want. I have to steal everything from you. You're lying to me all the time. Yes, mom. No, I raised you better than this. I've always trusted you. Don't be delusional anymore, mom. I will steal until I die. You can't stop me. No, Kate, please stop. This is not who you are. You have made a big mistake. That's not trusting Jordan. Jordan has always been someone I blame when he's here. Unfortunately, he left. If it weren't for that, I would blame him forever. So, Jordan was telling the truth this whole time. And you're dumb enough to believe me instead of him. Ha <laughs> ha. We loved you and you repay us like this. Jordan always tries to be a good brother to you. Well, I don't want to waste time talking to you. Get out of my way. I'll sell this. Kate, stop. Nothing can stop me now. Mom, it's too late. Oh, Mom, how do you get here? I asked your maid to open the door for me. Then what are you doing here? You still want to fight with me? No, it's Kate. She's totally lost her mind, Jordan. I told you a long time ago. It's not my business anymore. I ain't care. She's the one who stole everything from our house. I have nothing left now. I told you, she stole from you a long time ago, but you blame it all on me, remember? I know. You were right all that time. Yeah, you should have realized that sooner. I should have supported both of you equally. I have treated you so badly, I'm sorry. All the problems right now are because of me. Yeah, you created problems for me and also for Kate. But now, we can change anything from the past. Now I realize it. I don't want things to happen like that. I'm sorry. Maybe I know how to help her now. Oh, you do? Yeah but I need to sell my new electricity car first. Actually, I got what I wanted. What I really want is not wealth or fame or anything else I have. I just want to prove you wrong that day. And I got it. I love you, mom. I love my family. So now what I need most is your support. Next week, I have an important car launch event. I want you to support what I do just once in your life. Can you come with me? Yes, of course, son, I will. I'm so sorry, Jordan. I wish I could go back in time to correct my mistakes. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you, too, son. I forgive you for everything. The next day. This car really impressed me. Thanks. Glad to know that you like it. We put effort into it. Yeah, 
It's so much cooler than any car on the market right now. I want to invest in this product. How much will you guys offer me? Actually, we haven't thought about selling company shares, but you can offer us. If the deal is reasonable, we may consider it. How about 10 billion USD for 20% of company shares? 10 billion? Really? That is a huge number. Haha, <laughs> high risk, high return, right. I even can go more. What about 20 billion for 45% and we do the deal today? Wow. Hum. We'll go for the second deal. All right. Let's go for a contract. Next week. All right, everyone. What's in front of you isn't just a car. It is the future. It will definitely become a must-have vehicle for every family. And the best part is that it's almost affordable for everyone. That's my boy. Up until now, I've always thought wrong about him. It's all my fault. I treated my wonderful son badly. I'm so proud of him. Everything with my son is done. The next thing to do is I will make my adopted child pay. Yes, I've come up with a perfect plan. One day later. Hello, Kate. What's wrong, Mom? I will never be back, so don't call me anymore, please. Okay, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for being harsh with you. So if you have something to say, say it. I don't have time to chat. Today is your brother's celebration of his success. I know you don't want to see me, but at least come congratulate your brother. No matter what, at least we were family. Highs, okay, text me the address. I'll be there. Okay. What a big celebration. Maybe I can steal some valuable things here. Catch her. What? Mom? I'm not your mom anymore. Officer, please take her to the police station and investigate for theft. All the proof I've got is here. Please proceed according to the provisions of the law. Yes, madam. No, mom, let me go. I'm sorry. I'll give you back everything. Let me go. Since then, Jordan and his mother lived happily together. With the stolen property, Kate was sent to prison.